Good morning guys. I finally am taking out the MT-074 spin. I'm looking forward to this. This is one of the more fun middleweight naked bikes. And thank you Shriver for letting me take this out today. They have a whole slew of bikes. The Japanese 4, Triumph, uh, uh, the Piaggio Group, Moto Guzzi, Aprilia and so on. And also Husqvarna too. Check them out if you're in the Osnabrück area. But let's get back to things here. I think I am liking this black. Yeah, I am. And the two-tone with the valve covers and on the engine cover there and then the exhaust. I do like it. All right, let's go take her out and have some, some fun today. Although right away here, when we start her up, Look at where the key is. It's way over here. I don't know if I like that. See, on the MT-09, it's here, and the key is switched. So I'm not sure I like that too much. Hmm. All right. Let's see how the turning radius is, shall we? And let's lean right in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This bike is nice. Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today's a beautiful day because any day one can be out on two wheels is a beautiful day and I finally get to ride the MT-07. Yeah, this wraps up the Japanese 4 that I wanted to ride for um, to compare the middleweight nakeds, the Honda, the Kawasaki and the Suzuki and now the MT-07 also. So to wrap up this series and the reason why I wanted to ride these four bikes is because I want to introduce a bike to my wife next year next year and so I wanted to ride all four to see which ones I could suggest for her and so this will be on the list of suggestions for her believe it or not along with the Kawasaki and also the Suzuki Honda's a little heavy for her because she only weighs 50 kilos well, not quite 50 kilos so 100 pounds so she's little so I want a nice light bike and low, because she's also short. All right, guys, let's go over the numbers, shall we? And let's get into what did Yamaha do in 2018 to update this? Well, they gave it a new headlight, as you see there in 2018. New fender, new radiator shroud there, uh, new tank design here, new seat, new rear end here also updated the suspension too. I liked that suspension, although you notice it's uh, not an upside down fork though. But on real world's, real world roads, it's pretty good. You don't want a track, track day suspension for everyday riding. Now let's get into some numbers. Let's walk around here. And this is the black, as you see there. I think I actually like the blue. But I like this engine combination coloring here with the black, this flat matte black. I do like it. Um, 74 horse, 68 newton meters of torque with this yeah, CP2 motor right there. Yeah, gorgeous. I do like this cross plane technology that they did. Now, how does this motor function mated to this transmission? Let's take a look. The engine and transmission are pretty much seamless here. Oh, it's 50. I, I, I catch myself speeding. That's how I know it's a good bike. If you're always looking down and going, whoops, I got to slow down. Whoops, I got to slow down. You do that more than two, three, four times, then you know, okay, everything's gelling on this bike. And that's what this powertrain is doing with this, this CP2 motor uh, that Yamaha has been refining for quite a few years now. Uh, and made it to this transmission. Yeah, everything is just 
intuitive and seamless. Oh, I'm liking that rear brake. See there, I do. I thought, ah, oh, it wasn't locking up, so I wanted to. <laughs> and look at that, upshifts. Oh yeah, this thing loves corners, loves to accelerate, loves to decelerate, loves to brake. It does everything and does it well, guys. So no complaints about this engine and powertrain at all. Okay guys, now let's take a look at this suspension, the chassis overall. 41 millimeter, non-inverted, although it's okay, it was fine. Uh, 130 mils of travel, put on four piston, this one's down there, on a 289 mil disc. Not bad, oh, what I wanted to point out here also, yeah, look at that, it is adjustable, yeah, pretty nice. And back here, one piston Nissan on a 245, I think it was. I'll put it up. Uh, Preload only on the rear. Now, how is this chassis in real world conditions on a nice rough road? Let's take a look. This suspension is soaking up these bumps pretty, pretty good. Oh, I don't get down. So that's, that's why I like to take it down these rougher roads to see how it's going to perform in real world conditions because, let's be honest, we're, we don't have track day uh, quality roads in the real world. But so far, it's uh, doing pretty good. Uh, maybe I would loosen up the preload on the rear hair, but other than that, I'm liking it. Uh, it's doing very well. How's the rear brake? Oh, <laughs> yeah, rear brake is good. I could tell right there when it was going to lock up. That was pretty good. Now let's try the front as soon as we clear this corner. Let's do the front, shall we? Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Nice. Nice feel, nice feedback, linear progression all the way through. Uh, good job with the suspension, good job with the brakes. Uh, as far as the feel with these Nissans, it's, it's very good. Uh, no real complaints to complain about here. Again, for a seven, seven and a half grand, I'm not going to complain. I, I do not like how tight, in close, narrow the handle, the hand grips are on the handlebar. But other than that, all around, nice job. Two thumbs way, way up, boom, boom, for the suspension. Now let's move on to the rest of this bike. I do like these air ducts there. Look at that going up and through there and out the back. You can follow it around and see it right there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I do like this new tail end though, although we'll do a tidy tail kit. Uh, 805 mil seat here. This also, you can get a higher seat for this, believe it or not. Uh, and uh, as far as sitting on it, I was a little bit cramped. You can see when I put my foot up on the peg, it, it's kind of snug. Uh, after a while, I started to get a little cramped where I'd have to stretch my leg out. So if you guys are uh, five foot 10, 177, 178 centimeters or taller than me. Uh, you might want to consider a little bit higher bike or the higher seat might be the best option there too. 14 liter gas tank. Yeah, 14 liters should be pretty good for a good range. Now 182 kilos with this gas tank full. How does that feel in the city? Uh, for those of you wondering how the Intel, the Intel manners of this bike is a peach. Uh, this is so flickable, so nimble. That's the word I was looking for. It's nimbleness, it's willingness to do anything in town is just unbelievable. Here, let's get this light green for example. Oh, that low down torque. Loving that, yeah. See, look at that, I just dropped her gear and went on. Oh yeah. 
I, I am liking the low down torque of the CP2 motor. It's not overpowering, but it's it's also not under. It's, it's I think it's right at that low limit of if it was any lower then you would be wanting more but because this bike is so light you don't need any more you don't want any more so that's where uh, the power to weight ratio is perfect for Intel Manners two thumbs up boom boom okay guys now let's come up to the handlebar here as you can see standard controls here standard controls here but as I pointed out in the intro, we have to reach over top to turn the ignition on. Yeah, that's uh, kind of interesting. I don't know if I like that, especially if you stick a windscreen here. Then you have to reach down in between and also for cleaning areas that I don't know. Hmm. Some of you guys say, well, I'm not going to stick a windscreen on it. Then it's okay. But if you do, that might become an issue. Nice big fuel gauge there, good job. And RPM goes along the bottom here with your standard idiot lights. I don't know, on the, on the 09 and so on, they have this switch, the ignition down here and then this up here. So, hmm, kind of interesting, actually. So, I, I don't know if I like that, but you know what, it's a nitpick. Um, now, how does this bike compare to the other Japanese three, your Honda, your Kawasaki, and Suzuki? very well all four of the japanese four middleweight nakeds there that i just listed and showed pictures of are right in the mix it just becomes down to which one looks the best which one do you want an inline four then get a honda if you want a v-twin get the suzuki if you want a parallel twin now you got two choices the kawasaki or the yamaha so it just depends on what you what you guys are looking for uh and as far as price, yeah, Honda is the highest. It always is. The fit and finish is a little bit better on the Honda, always, than the other three. No, I shouldn't say always. Usually is a little bit better. Um, but uh, overall, where does this fit in the mix? I would give it a good uh, right, in, yeah, right in the middle. Uh, it, it comes down to if you buy any one of these four bikes, guys, you will be happy. That's just, so you can see me thinking here. I'm trying to place one, two, three, four, and I can't because it comes down to what kind of engine configuration do you want? What kind of fit and finish do you want? Or do you want to save a buck? Get the Suzuki SV650 if you want to save a buck. Uh, and if you want a V-twin, boom. And it, but all four of these bikes are, they're, they're, they're competitive right against each other. The Honda is the heaviest. I think this is the lightest um yeah you can see me guys i'm shaking my head now you might ask well, what am i going to recommend to my wife mm. <laughs> again <laughs> i think the sv650 the kawasaki and this because the honda is a little heavy for her she's only uh, 50 kilos so 100 pounds and she's short so but the pro one con for, for, for this bike is a uh, this 805 millimeter seat height because uh, she's short, uh, although it was pre it's pretty low for me. Uh, but overall, guys, if you buy any one of those four bikes, you're going to be happy with it. You're going to love it. You're going to, and here's the kicker: all of them can be ridden longer uh, than just as a beginner bike. Even your experienced riders who want a lightweight, fun bike, uh, city commuter, uh, just daily commuter. Uh, f all four of them, pff, two thumbs way, way up. Uh, they have been making these bikes and refining and refining and competing against each other for many, many years. And competition is good for us. <laughs> and in this case, it's really good. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Number one, guys, ride safe. That's the most important thing. And number two, guys, ride like there's nothing to approve. Take care, guys. Oh, loved it. Thank you, Yamaha. A great, simple, easy to ride, nimble bike. Two thumbs way, way up. Boom, boom.